What is going on everybody? Eric McLaurin King here. Thanks for tuning in for another video. Yesterday I came out to this property to do a public service call for one of my buddy's companies uh, to look at a bad timer. It was diagnosed as a bad timer. And after I got into it, I kept seeing issue after issue of things done incorrectly. And afterwards I thought, man, I should have recorded that. So my office reached out to the client and he said it was okay for us to come back out and record a video here to show you basically Anything that could have gone wrong with this timer insulation went wrong. So let's go ahead and show you what it's all about. All right, so here is the sub panel right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And what's the thing that it should be glaring at you guys right now? This is an intermatic timer, not in an intermatic sub panel. So this I believe is actually designed for a Paragon timer and because this intermatic doesn't fit properly, as you can tell, the cutout is way off and all that, this faceplate here is actually basically bent in order to secure it. You know, you see the screws down here at the bottom and then these screws up here. When you tighten these down, the, the faceplate is bent in all these different ways just to get the timer to fit. So that was an issue right off the bat I saw. So let's go ahead and take the faceplate off. And just as a safety precaution, you always wanna cut all the breakers off, which I already did, all these breakers are off. And so let's go ahead and get this faceplate off and show you what else is wrong with this. So now that we got the faceplate off again, before you do anything electrically, you wanna make sure that you have the breakers turned off. You can see that the breakers are in the off position, all of them. The only part of this box that should be hot are these two right here. These are coming from the home and those should be, that's feeding the breaker bar. So those are gonna be hot, but everything else in here can, should be dead. Uh, you know, before you t start touching wires, definitely test with a multimeter or voltage tester, just to ensure that these wires that you're touching do not have power, because the last thing you wanna do is get shocked. And then lastly, I do want to make it abundantly clear that neither myself or my buddy's business installed this timer. This homeowner uh, took over about two and a half months ago when he closed in the house and this is what was given to him. So we're just coming out here to diagnose why the system isn't working anymore and I'm about to show you why. Uh, if it's not abundantly clear, the timer basically arced and caught fire here. Um, but we're gonna go into more issues than just that. So the first thing I wanna point out is that we have a 240 breaker here and a 120 volt timer. So why is this 120 volt timer? Well, if you notice here, this, this far left spot's always reserved for neutral, and then you have line, which is coming from the breaker, and load, which is going out to the equipment. So we have 120 leg coming in, and then we have 120 leg coming out. If it was a 240 setup, we'd have, again, our neutral spot, our line from breaker, our load going out to the equipment, our line, the other line from the breaker, and then the other load going out to the equipment, but we don't have that. In addition to that, this, uh, mo this motor wire here for the timer is over here in the neutral spot instead of in the line from the breaker side to basically operate as a 120 timer. That's how that works um, versus 240. So if I didn't lose you guys there, ultimately we have 240 power going to 120 uh, timer. So where's the other leg of power? When we follow the other leg of power, you'll see down here, it's this black wire is coming from the breaker and it's wing nutted in to a red wire, which is going down and out to the pump over there. And so what does that all mean? So essentially, whoever installed this is giving the pump uh, one leg of power 24 seven. Now that's not ideal for single speed pumps at all, and it's definitely not good for variable speed pumps. You don't want to have one leg hot, and then when the timer turns on uh, to give the other leg hot to the variable speed, that is a recipe for killing the drive. So definitely not a good idea, an ideal situation here for that. Fortunately, this is a single speed pump, but I do still think that the pump might be dead because when I tested this yesterday, I was getting 119 volts here and I was getting 120 volts out. Uh, so this was still operating as it should. And then this also had 121 volts, I believe, of power coming out of here. So 240 was going out to the pump, but the pump wasn't turning on. So ultimately, I think the way this is wired has killed the pump as well, in addition to uh, this nice little fire that happened here. And thankfully it was just here and it didn't catch anything else on fire because uh, it certainly could have. So uh, ultimately 
timer's bad. It's not the correct timer for the enclosure. It is not uh, wired properly for the power coming in, being fed from the breaker. And the way that they wired the second leg of power here very possibly could have killed the pump. And then just looking a little closer, just pointing some things out for you guys. If you look closely here, you see a couple wires that are double tapped on this neutral bar. And then also down here at the ground bar, there's also a couple wires that are double tapped here, which is not uh, good to do either. So, I mean, like I said, virtually everything that could have been done incorrectly here was done incorrectly here. So I really hope you guys um, learn a little bit here on what not to do. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this faceplate back on. I'm gonna tape these breakers in the off position, basically red tagging it until an electrician comes out here. Electrician is going to have to come out here because I don't believe we can source the Paragon timers anymore. I did do one a video not too long ago. Um, well, actually a couple years ago replacing it and it was hard very hard to find a paragon timer to fit in that video so i don't even know if i could source another timer here anyways uh and so because of that more than likely the sub panel is going to need to be replaced so uh, we're going to see what the electrician does. So at the end of the day, I don't want to get involved in this because it's everything that is wrong here is completely wrong and it should be replaced the new sub panel ultimately if the budget allows. Uh, so hopefully you guys learn a little bit. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next video. Have a great day, everyone.